hello again. Now, if you're a regular viewer of Sensible Investing, you'll know we don't recommend actively managed funds. Now, some say we overstate the case that we somehow have it in for active fund managers. In fact, neither of those is true. In a recent interview he gave us, Weston Wellington from Dimensional Fund Advisors explained how there's no contradiction in having the utmost respect for active managers, while at the same time advising clients to avoid them. It's very, very difficult to distinguish luck from skill. Or put another way, it's very easy to persuade ourselves that we can identify great performing stocks or great performing money managers. If it were the case that it were so easy to identify terrific money managers, we ought to be able to do it. But in study after study after study, we just don't find that evidence. This is not a, a suggestion that active money managers are somehow incompetent or greedy or they're looking at the wrong things. If anything, it's a vote of confidence saying there are so many talented, clever, hardworking money managers out there all flipping through the thousands of pages of corporate reports and information, all that competition serves to drive prices quickly enough to their fair value that it eliminates the easy opportunities for anybody, smart or otherwise, to gain an advantage. We often hear that some markets are less efficient than others, that there are particular asset classes in which a fund manager's expertise really can add value. So, what does Western Wellington make of that? I would never argue that there are no situations where clever active management might be able to add some value. I just haven't found an asset class yet when I hear that argument that seems to apply. The ones we hear most often are small company stocks. They're somehow less well researched and therefore they have greater opportunity for active managers or emerging markets. Now, right away you run into two big problems. Number one, you still have a marketplace that consists of all the small cap securities or all the emerging market securities, and you have the universe of investors holding these securities. You still have the zero-sum game problem. And from an empirical standpoint, when we go looking for evidence among actively managed emerging market or actively managed small company strategies, we find no evidence whatsoever that these managers have any greater ability in this marketplace. If anything, the data shows they're performing even worse. Ultimately, of course, we need active fund managers to set prices, but that doesn't mean that every investor needs to use them. To the extent active money managers study companies, assess whether projects are useful or not useful, reflect those assessments and security prices, they're performing a social benefit. The real question is, how many active managers do we need to keep markets efficient, to keep prices fair. All the evidence we have from these academic studies on manager performance suggests we have way more managers than we need to keep markets efficient. That's about it for now. Just time to remind investment professionals who share our evidence-based investing philosophy that we're about to start producing regular educational content for advisors. If you're interested in subscribing, please contact Richard Wood. His email address is richard at sensibleinvesting.tv. That's richard at sensibleinvesting.tv. Until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.